happy spring day! Let's pick some flowers and make beautiful, delicious cake. This is Jess Stafford, guys. Say hi, Jess. Hi. We are gonna pick some flowers and make some Instagram stories. Mm -hmm. But for YouTube, there's a difference. <laughs> Let's try and pick some flowers and not get attacked by bees. Yeah. Ah! Let's try. <laughs> This is gonna go on our cake later. So because we're shooting Instagram style stories, I thought let's do something different and we have Instagram queen in the house over oh here. <laughs> Can I call you that? If you wanna. <laughs> so we're going to do a who shot it best challenge. We're gonna decorate the cakes, style the cakes and shoot the cakes how you wanna, how I wanna, how, how we wanna. wanna and you guys can decide who the winner is. So let's do it. Awesome, but first, who made the cake? What type of cake is it? So, it's a delicious one, one of my favorites. It's actually a mandarin cake. So mandarin, yeah. clem and gold, whatever you like to call it, with a mascarpone and double cream yogurt frosting. What? Wow, sounds so good. So what I did was, I've put the mandarins, nachis, clem and gold, whatever you'd like to call it, in the water and you're gonna bring it to a boil. Then place a plate over the fruit, that's gonna weigh it down and turn it down to a simmer. Cook for 20 minutes until soft and then puree until smooth. Now for the cake. Mix the sifted flour with the almond flour and baking powder. Place the sugar and the softened butter in a standing mixer and cream until light and pale. Then you're gonna add an egg one at a time, scraping down between each egg. Then add a teaspoon of vanilla. Add your clement gold puree, alternating with your flour. And then lastly, add the rest of the puree and flour and mix until well combined. Pour the mixture into a greased cake tin and bake for 55 minutes at 160 degrees. For the icing, take double cream yogurt that's been hanging in a bag overnight, mix it with some mascarpone and sprinkle some icing sugar. And then lastly, a fresh zest of lemon. Then perfect icing. Sounds amazing. So we've got our cakes over here and we're just gonna literally take this icing. What I like to do is just kind of blob it on and schmear. So how much of this do we actually take? It's kind of up to you, hey? In, in true Instagram style, whatever looks the best. That is true. So speaking of Instagram, like what's, what's the whole buzz with Instagram? How did you get um, into Instagram? Well, basically it wasn't kind of like get into Instagram. It yeah. was more a case of started taking photographs, going to Insta meets, things like that, just because I started loving it the more I was doing it. Yeah. Um, and then my eye developed more and more as time went on. Um, and you just kind of start enjoying photography. There we go, yeah. there we go. It's kind of like my sort of vibe with YouTube. It's just fun sharing food. And exactly. you probably, and you love sharing sort of lifestyle. Whatever it travel. is, if it's Cape Town travel. Yeah, food as well, food is always good. So I'm kind of done with my icing. I'm gonna keep it like, Simple like that. Okay, so now we decorate. Help yourself to whatever props or thingies and whatever's you like. Okay. And we're gonna create our own little Instagram images. Yeah. Go. What actually inspires your Instagram posts? Firstly, the lighting is everything. So it's where, it depends where I am. Um, I mostly shoot daytime. Yeah, so basically whatever inspires me is just whatever is beautiful wherever I am. Um, things that I'm, let's say, passionate about. Instagram meets YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'm like almost done here. I think I am just gonna get some of those yellow flowers we picked okay. earlier, because I feel yeah, like sure. even though they've wilted a little bit, they deserve the love. Shame. And we almost died by the attack of the bee for them, so. That was so scary. I think we got her. Okay, I think I'm done. How about you? Same here. Not oh bad. Gosh, I love the way you did the coconut. Hey, looking Jeez. good, looking good. Oh so now, if you want to see who shot it best, you're gonna have to go check out our Instagram feeds. 
Jess Binks, Jess B I N X X. There we go. Done and K underscore Win Stanley. And if you don't remember that, the links will be down below, so you'll be fine. You'll find them. Please go find them, and let us know who shot it best. Probably Jess. No worries, man. <laughs> Oh my god, if the bee comes right. like on my head, 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 can you see it? It's gone, it's gone. Okay. Right. Oh my gosh, I can hear it. I'm scared to talk at an E1. And yeah, I'm being attacked by bee. <laughs>